Hi, my name is Diane Mink, and I am an artist of many different um, rights, I guess. I'm, I'm an animator, I'm a painter, a graphic designer, visual artist, um, a musician, a songwriter, uh, and I've been doing this for a long time. It, it is hard to have so many um, interests and not spread yourself too thin. <laughs> That's probably my biggest thing uh, that I've dealt with my whole life. But behind me here is a piece I call Forever Unpredictable. One of my favorite artists is David Bowie. And this is a style that over the years I've developed, abstract um, style. And uh, this is one of his probably most famous poses. Uh, you can actually find this art on all sorts of clothing and uh, canvases and posters um, and many other items uh, for sale online at my site at dianemink.threadless.com. I'm also going to move over here to another David Bowie piece that I did. And then I'll start to tell you a little bit about my background. Uh, there's one called Shh, It's a Secret, um, another famous pose of David Bowie's. When I paint, I wrap and I paint all the way around the edge of the canvas so you don't need a frame. And this design is also available for purchase on all sorts of things. Uh, anyways, let me back up a little bit. And uh, a few years ago, actually <laughs> quite a few, um, I worked with David Bowie as I mean, actually with uh, Jimi Hendrix's artwork. For seven years as a branding artist, I worked with a family called the Van and Hoovels and they owned the collection. And the first piece I did under contract was basically a commission piece. Uh, and so I spent a lot of time uh, delving into the spirit of Jimi Hendrix. And I wanted to make sure that I represented his spirit and his life in the right way because I, too, was a big, huge fan of him. It's unfortunate that we didn't have him but 27 years, but so talented, so amazingly talented. Anyway, so I spent a lot of time painting and drawing and sketching him, reading about his life and his brother's book, Leon's book, about their family, um, and also even, you know, meeting his, uh, his brother on the phone. Uh, and so I spent a lot of time uh, just spiritually trying to dial into the amazing spirit of Jimi Hendrix. But here's one of the paintings that I did uh, behind me while I was studying Jimi. Let me uh, now walk down the hall and I'm going to show you my music room first. Um, tell you a little bit about my family. My father was adopted and my last name is Mink, but I don't have a spot of German in me. Uh, my father's last name should have been L-U-C-E, and that's Luce. Um, my great-grandfather was Maximilian Luce, and my great-uncle was uh, Frederick Luce, his son. They were very famous neo, and they still are very famous neo-impressionistic painters. Uh, Maximilian was one of the founders. So I guess you could say some of the magic came from my genes, <laughs> no, but I only did to discover that much later in life. Behind me is a piece that I did. It was a commission piece. It's a copy of the one I did that fronted Jimi Hendrix's collection when it was shown in Las Vegas uh, for about six months. And you might have seen it up on my website. Um, this was the first piece that I did before working with its other pieces, the original pieces, which is the largest collection ever of Jimi Hendrix's art. Um, let me then show you uh, one of the pieces that I designed. Um, his hair is comprised in this piece here of a piece he call, they call Fire. And of course, um, that became quite popular. Uh, and then I got Annie Lennox, another one to Jimmy, 
I do Jimmy a lot because I spent so much time. There's another one I did at Jimmy. There's the power of love. Uh, there's like a 3D coming out of the black uh, face of Jimmy. And let's see, I've got one more that I can show you. There, Jimi Hendrix there on the wall, another abstract. And then tell you a little bit about my musical background. I have four platinum records you can see on the wall behind me. And uh, I have some of my independent awards up here from the Independent Music Network. But I have 13 Grammy nominations that go behind those platinums on the back of the wall. I've had a lot of international play and international success. Um, had the opportunity to be in what they call the promotion library where my stuff was playing all over the place, elevators and Home Depots and Walmarts and because I write in every style and I play from classical to alternative um, and each of those albums re represent, you know, my alternative side as well as my pop. Well, that's a little bit about me and uh, uh, just wanted you to have a little history, but my stuff is available online and, and uh, through my representatives um, can certainly be purchased uh, as well as my, on my website. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. God bless you.